Women had the right to work at the time. The Prophet وسلم, appointed Ashifa bint Abdullah to be the administrator of the souq, of the market at that time. And also, uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab عنه, did the same thing. She was a woman of great caliber. She was also uh, a tabiba. She was a doctor, medical doctor. And there were also many nurses and doctors at the time who went there to make even jihad. And they mixed with the brothers. They said, no, we want a building for the brothers and the building for the sisters. Don't you dare say salam to the brothers. And don't you dare say salam to the sisters. And create these walls between them. Brother, ya akhi, if the woman has strong iman, if she has strong Islam, if she is half of that Quran, and if she is musalliya, she is praying, and if she is fasting and have, has strong faith, what would prevent her from going out there and talking to people? What would? You're afraid that if this physical type of contact happens, there will be a mess. And the reason they give you is corruption of society, because society is corrupt. Well, is, is social corruption, does social corruption make it incumbent on you to imprison your wife in the home? or your daughter, or your uh, mother, or your sister, for that matter? Or would it be incumbent on you to make more da'wah with her and strengthen her being as a Muslimah so that she would have enough caliber to go out there and make the strong da'wah that we want? Now, which is the better choice? To shield her, like putting a Band-Aid on a wound, or to give her an antibiotic of a spiritual iman? and strength so that she can go out there with full capacity, which is better. And then when you do that, when you imprison her, you're actually committing zulm. When you're doing the other thing and letting her go out there with full capacity and with full confidence and very, very high self-esteem, and she will not lose her mind one day for being imprisoned, then, in, <laughs> then inshallah, you're doing the right thing and getting the reward and producing dawah to, to the society. Can't be more logical. I tried my best, wallahi. <laughs>